Hey, what's up everybody? Otto here. So if we go into our server file, you notice we don't have a real token. We have a fake token. And I want to implement the real token, the JWT, the JSON web token. And so in order to install that, first let's go to our browser and type in JWT and take a look at JSON web token at JWT.io. And this is a standard. I think most people who work with Node.js use JWD. But let's get this thing up and running. So if we go to libraries, you're going to see .NET, .NET. We don't want Python. We also don't want Node.js. So we found Node.js, and it shows us how to install it. So let's go ahead and view the repo so we can get instructions and examples how to use this JSON web token. So first, we need to install it. So go ahead and copy this line of code and go to the terminal, type in, and go ahead and copy paste that. Let that install. Now, let's follow some instructions. Usage, okay, shows us how to sign it. Here you go. I think we can just use this first example. It's nice and simple, two lines of code. Go ahead and open up our server. And so we want that JSON web token for the both the sign up and the login route. So first let's go ahead and paste the first line of code in after right before we return the the token. We can take this line of code and put it all the way to the top of this server file. Save. Okay, scroll down. And here you see foo bar and what we need to put there is the user ID. So that we want to put in the user ID. So to get that user ID, it comes from the database. Mongoose automatically creates a user ID for us. And so here we want to add ID instead of foo and here user ID. And so what's this? Shh. This means password. It's a, it's kind of a secret. So we'll just type in password. Okay, you can add any password you want here. And it's used to decode. We need this password to decode the token. And finally, we can replace this string here with the actual token, a real token. Save that. Logic we need to fix here. You noticed here in user, um, if there is no user and you try to search for password, dot password, you're gonna get a server error because there was no user. That means there's no property password. So what needs to happen here is we should add some logic if statement that says, um, if not user, then return a response.json message string no user found with that email. Cool, save. Okay. I say the login API is finished. We fixed that any server errors we could have and we have a real token being generated. Now the sign up needs some work. So when we sign up, you notice that there's no way, there's no checking the database here. What if there's already someone with the username taken, right? We're not checking the database if that user, that email is already taken. So we need to do that. So let's take this code here, copy it here. So we're checking the database for that email and we need to, we need some logic to check if that user is taken. So if that user has, is being used, that email is being used, we need to send a message saying that email already, whoa, already taken. Users not taken, then okay, continue and save and produce a real token. So let's grab this here, copy that, and give the guy the real token. Save. Okay, API is finished. Let's test it out then. So open up our app. I'm using iOS. Start her up, run in the bug.
Okay, make sure you select the main Dart file when you hit run and debug. Well, let's wait for that to load. Let's go ahead and start that, uh, our server up. So we have to type in, go to uh, node, server directory, server.js, start her up. Oh, it looks like we got an error. So it says, the identified user has already been declared. So let's go to that. Where is that at? In line 36. So it's saying, oh, right here, right. We already declared it. So let's remove this let right here. Save, restart the server. Okay, that fixed it. We got the app loaded up and we want to make sure that we are getting the real token now. So let's start with the sign up, create an email. Let's call it sam at email.com. Password, anything you want. Sign up, wait for the token, and we have our real token right here. That on the sign up, it didn't automatically navigate us to the next screen. And that has to do with the asynchronous function, right? When it needs to wait one second for us to get the token and then navigate. So I had to click the button twice in order to um, get it working. But we noticed our logic, back in logic, is working because when I clicked it again, it tried to sign up. By this time, it said email already taken. So great. So we can log out. And now let's go ahead and test the login. So use that same email, sam at email.com and the password. Log in. Wait for the token was generated. And the login feature has the same problem. It doesn't automatically send us there. So if we hit login again, it navigates over there and we get the token sent again. So if we restart this app by hitting restart and going back, it automatically goes because we put that feature in to automatically send us to the uh, landing screen if we have that token. So that automatic uh, navigation works. We need to fix the asynchronous issue. So if we go to the login, so the login's asynchronous, which means we need to use it in an asynchronous manner. So we need to await the login. And now we won't have that issue anymore when we click login. It will wait for this function to finish before going down to this logic and navigating. And to test it out, we save, click our app, and we go to login. I'll go ahead and I'll enter in my information, email.com, password, and log in, and boom, straight to the landing page, first try. And now we do that for the, the sign up as well. So find our sign up. Where's our sign up? Up, up here, here it is. Okay, add our await here, and done, save. And now we know our await works as well. All right, guys, that's it for now. We got our JSON web token implemented, which was the main point of this video. We also added some bug fixes, which needed to get done for the front end and back end. So we are on a roll. If you liked the video or it helped you in some way, go ahead and smash that like button and I will see you in the next video.